get recording in here. Let's get recording in here, right? Anyways, noob Cybot, right? We're rocking red noob that laughs. Anyways, noob Cybot 10 minute guide. Let's see if we can keep it at 10 minutes, all right? This one should go pretty quick. Noob Cybot is a pretty straightforward, basic bitch kind of character. He does what he does and he's really freaking good at it, right? So why would you want to pick this character? If you like defense and big fucking damage. Noob Cybot hurts. He hurts a lot. Even if you don't have a combo variation, if you have slide, it makes every move, every touch, a 25% touch. So Noob Cybot can kill you in four hits. And that's if he doesn't grab the big bad combo extenders. All right, now what is his archetype? Noob Cybot is straight up a turtle, right? I like to think of him as like Guile in Street Fighter. Noob Cybot will sit there and crouch block the whole freaking match. He doesn't have a whole lot of mix-up potential or 50-50s or any of that. He doesn't have very good plus frames. He doesn't have a whole lot of pressure. Where Noob Cybot gets his hits is going to be in punishment, right? You either overextended because you're tired of him blocking all your shit, so you went and rolled the dice and he punishes you, or you're chasing his ass down and uh, he whiff punishes you, right? Noob Cybot is all about making them pay for bad offense uh, while you just kind of sit there and chill out and uh, wait for them to hang themselves. So if you're more of a defensive, passive kind of player who doesn't really want to get in and mix it up, you just want to sit in the shadows, wait for them to do something stupid, and then make them pay for it, Noob Cybot is the guy for you. Now the build that I have here for beginners is basically the build that most people are using, which is the two combo extenders and down back one and the amplified teleport and the uh, shadow slide. This is not the build I personally use, but pretty much every noob Cybot is using this build in some form or another, moving, like swapping out a move or two here and there. Um, so with down back one, I mean, it's just a combo extender, right? It only catches them out the air. So you generally want to combo off a of, uh, 4 two, two, one, and then you get your combo there, right? Amplify teleport is just teleport, but you could amplify it and now you get a combo. And then the other move is going to be shadow slide, right? It's just a long range projectile, controls the mid range, protects you in the nuke. You can throw it on at the end of strings and amplify it. See that? 25% for special move at the end of a three hit string. Like Noob Cybot, he, he just does ridiculous damage for very little cost. What's important about the slide is on block, minus 20, right? You will die. But amplify on block is minus eight. And so it's a constant guessing game of whether or not they're gonna amplify it. So you can use this in the neutral, right? To just kind of catch them in the mid range. But you can also throw this at the end of a string. And uh, if they block, spend the bar, amplify it, make yourself safe. And now the whole process resets again and they have to come and open you up again, right? The whole point with Noob, Noob Cybot is, listen, I'm not going to let you win. You've got to beat me. And at any time, if you want to overextend, you can do that, add an extra special move on your strings with the slide and then just amplify it and they can't do anything about it, right? They just have to hold that. The way to beat Noob Cybot is to just have a crazy ass offense. Now his other moves, right, his other special moves, all right, so we have Shadow Tackle and we have Rising Shadow Kick. Uh, Rising Shadow Kick is a decent anti-air. It's all right, it's not like the best anti-air. Noob Cybot has one of the best anti-airs in the game, so you don't see this that much. What it's really good for is in the corner, right? In the corner, you can get combos off of it, right? You can do that and like kind of just not screw up, but you get the point, right? Let me not, let me see if I can. Ah. Oi. Oi. Ah, eh, fuck it. Anyways, I haven't practiced that combo in a while, but you get the point. Up kick is a really, really good combo extender in the corner to get you big meterless damage. In the mid screen, it's all right for uh, you know an anti air if you kind of can execute down back four fast enough on a jump in, um, and then his other obviously the teleport. We already discussed that. It just it teleports and it grabs you. And then finally we have shadow tackle. Um, there's a crushing blow off of it if you hit like ten shadows in a row. That last hit gives you a crush. But for the most part, you're just using it as a catch-all combo ender, right? So if I do something like, if I just do a regular basic bitch 
Noob Cybot combo. Alright, we'll do something like that. Uh, Alright, well, let me not fuck that up. <laughs> let me do this one instead. Alright, then you can just. Well. Well. Shadow Tackle, right? You throw it at the end of your combos just for some extra damage. You can kind of use it in zoning in the middle in, uh, to control space. Problem is, if they touch you, he, it goes away, right? So if you're trading projectiles, Noob Saibot's uh, Shadow Tackle is going to be interrupted and the shadow will disperse and disappear and you're just going to get hit with a projectile, all right? So be careful with that one when you're trying to do a zoning fight. Uh, for the most part, Noob Saibot isn't really throwing projectiles out to zone you or control space. He's just kind of waiting for you to do something dumb. So if somebody's zoning you out, like you just, instead of counter zoning with shadow tackle, just teleport and get a combo. Now, important notable moves, right? Noob Cybot doesn't have a lot of notable moves, but the few that he has, you can win with, right? So the first one is gonna be the one one. He's got two follow-ups, one, one, three. This is special move cancelable, right? And this is where your big damaging punishes are gonna come from, right? Hold on, right? So anytime they overextend, when you are jab, or they are negative enough for you to sneak in a jab, one, one, three, into whatever, hit them hard. Do note that uh, the air sickle snag does not combo off of one, one, three. It will whiff, so you gotta go one, one, three into teleport. Next important move, or next uh, follow up to that string is one, one, two. Ends in overhead, it's flawless blockable. The overhead does give you some plus frames, right? It's, or no, it doesn't, it's minus three. Feels like it's plus, but it has, a, it has like a long block stun recovery. Feels like it's plus, it's not, it's minus three, um, but it is flawless blockable. And uh, I believe it is actually also interruptible, right? But let's check it, let's check it. Let's see, okay, one, one, two, right? Sub-zero, interruptible, right? Well, at least for the trade. It'll interrupt for the trade. Anyways, let me go back to being in control of Noob Saibot. So we got one, one, three, catch all, jab string, one, one, two. You could throw out if you're kind of a dumbass and they're asleep at the wheel and they're not looking for an overhead, um, but it is kind of a gimmick, so I wouldn't recommend that one. Next most important string is gonna be our four, two, two. Right, now four, two, two, you can do four, two, two, one, two, right? And that just gives you that. What's most important about 4-2-2 is 4-2 is, uh, I believe, 14 frames on startup? Nine frames on startup. I thought it was slower than that. That shit is fast. Nine frame startup, high. It is a big time punisher, right? So oftentimes you'll block a move and the pushback, you can't punish. Well, with this, you probably can. It's also a good um, chase down tool. If someone's trying to shimmy, 4-2-2 is gonna catch them. And if you do 4-2-2-1, you get your sickle snag. And you can just do it again for 30%, right? I literally just did string into special into string into special, and I got 30% of your health. That's how simple and how big his damage is, all right? 4-2-2 does start with a high and the final move of the string, right? 4-2-2-1-2, minus 26, right? So don't end the string. Usually you want to stop it at 4-2-2-1 and then go for like the shadow slide and meter burn it to keep yourself safe on block. But it's just a good advancing combo starter hit confirmable, like the string does everything other than hit people that are crouching and spamming pokes. So use that one a lot. You will use it a lot, all right? Next most important move with Noob Saibot is gonna be back one, right? It's an advancing mid. I mean, it's got ridiculous range for being a mid, right? Look at that, and if we pull up the frame data on back one, Back one is a nine frame mid, which is really good. That's like one of the fastest mids in the game. You can't really stagger it. Like you're not gonna be able to just hit back one and then back one and fish for a combo. And if you do back one grab, right? That's a follow up. Back one grab, punch. Back one grab is like death on block. Okay, so be careful doing back one grab. It's minus 17. So someone like Sub-Zero who has a fast advancing move in his slide will punish it. Um, it is difficult to punish for some characters, uh, if you hit it, it is zero on block, so they do have to eat your strike throw. And Noob Saibot actually has a pretty decent strike throw, um, but just be careful throwing that out. And the follow-up, right, the back one grab two, the punch doesn't even come out. Like, the special move or anything doesn't come out on block. So if you do back one grab and they block, you're just kind of going to have to hold that. There's no stagger, there's no mix-up, there's no nothing. Nothing comes out after the grab if they block it. Um, if they don't block it and they were pressing buttons, you do get a counter hit. Uh, crushing blow with back one grab two. Uh, it's just meterless 30% damage. So if you hit them, 
Hit confirm into the last hit. Like, you have three hits to do it. Back one, grab. All right, two hits. Hit confirm. Bam, crushing blow on the counter hit. Okay, next most important move is going to be this. Down four. Down four is like, I already made a noob cybot guide. It's not a 10-minute guide. But down four is like one of his most busted moves because, like, it counts as a really, really good poke. Right? You can sit there and you can throw out down four, do that. You can do down four slide for extra gimmicks. But down four's real strength comes from the fact that it's just a godlike up anti air. Right? If he jumps in, like, look, look at how high up, right? Look at how high up this shit catches, right? Well, if he jumps over, there we go. Oh, hold on. Look at that, right? And full combo punishable, right? Big fucking damage. 341, I even fucked up the combo, and that's already, like, almost 35%. If I didn't fuck it up, you can get up to 40% with just that. That's how good it is. It's just so stupid um, as an anti-air. Uh, it's also, like I said, a really good down four. You see, it's got, like, really good horizontal range. It's got a lot, a lot of plus frames. If you look at the uh, down four plus frames, it is plus 18 on block. So even with the pushback, right, at mid-range, if I hit that, it goes right into this. Right into it. Oh, shit, we got a follow. Thank you for the follow. But yeah, down four. They have to respect that. So that's one way to land your forward two. Now, next most important move is going to be two, one, two. Now, there aren't any uh, other follow-ups on two, one, two. Right? It's just two, one or two, one, two. Uh, what's notable about this is this is, first of all, a launcher, right? So you can dash in and hit forward two if you don't suck. Right? Ah. There we go. Alright. 376. Um, so it's an easy uh, jump in. But what's important about it is 2 1, right? It starts high mid, or it goes high low, and it's minus 5. 2 1 2, right? It goes high low mid, and it's minus 4. This makes it a godlike jab stabber. You see, uh, jab. Stabber, jab stagger. You see a lot of noobs staggering one one, but this is the real truth here as far as your staggers go. Because even if he blocks, right? We set him to block everything, right? Look at how close he is. He can't punish that, right? I'm at minus four, but I can do this, right? And I can just do it again, right? Do that, and then that, and that, and that, and just kind of harass them with it. And even though it starts with a high, that low comes out so quick that it's kind of hard to just like mash on it, right? It, it, it's almost like a really good mid. It's a very, very good stagger, very important for noob Cybot, because again, if it lands, you get a full combo, all right? Next most important move, right? Let me turn off this block. Stop blocking, Sub-Zero, just get beat up. Then we'll be back to really good space control, really good advancing mid. If you look at the frame data on back two, right? Comes out in 12 frames, that's a little bit slow for a mid, but if you look at the, uh, range it has this is just good noob cybot has a lot of highs right people are looking for highs so you can always hit that to check them and it knocks them back giving you some space to work with the other notable thing is if they break away right this thing is uh it will catch them right it will catch them and let me set it for really late breakaway right it will catch them and you can special move cancel it. Hold on. Oh, he broke away way late there. He broke away way late. Let me do it up there. And then you can continue your combo, right? Back two is not special cancelable, right? You see I'm doing back two into air grab. It's not special cancelable unless it breaks armor. But if you think they're going to break away, which Noob Cybot double launcher build, they're going to break away. They don't want to eat 40%. But if they break away and you make a read on it, you can back to special cancel it into another combo extender and keep the combo going. So at any time, Noob Cybot is pretty scary. He's pretty scary even when you break away and you think you're safe. All right. Next most important do our next most important move is going to be his down three. It's just a godlike low poke. It's got a lot of good range and uh, it's a nine frame startup, but it is plus 15. So like off of this, you can get your one one two. Right off of this, you can go for the two one. If you didn't space it right, you can go right into that. They have to respect it. Anytime they press, they have to respect the uh, the plus frames that you have off of down three because four two is nine frames, and they are jailed for 15. So you have all time, all day, all kinds of time to make sure that that hits. All right. 
Last most important move is kind of not that important, but it is forward four. It's just a two hitting low string. Uh, one button gives you the whole combo. Um, and if you look at the uh, frame data, it starts up in 12 frames. Um, it's fairly safe at minus seven. You can fish for flawless blocks after it if they're trying to poke afterwards. But it's just a good advancing low to just throw out in the neutral whenever you think that they're going to dash in or what have you. And this is mostly what you're going to use to throw off uh, people dashing forward, right? And they're coming in, they're playing the, excuse me, and they want to dash forward, and you're like, yeah, no, dude, go back over there. Um, other than that, it's not special cancelable or anything. It's just good to stop in advancement. Now, Noob Cybot's most important range is going to be range three, right? This is where Noob Cybot flourishes. Um, you can play him a little bit closer at range two if you have a more aggressive build, but at range three, you just sit there and pepper him with slides. And you just sit there and throw out these dumbass slides and get your damage, right? And then once they start trying to come in, they're either gonna advance in on you from the front, in which case forward four or four two two, or they're gonna jump in on you when you'll just do down four and combo them. That's the key with Noob Cybot is I'm just gonna kinda keep you at arm's length. He's not really a long range zoner, right? I'll keep you at arm's length, and then if you come in and try to do anything to me, I'm gonna blow you up and it's gonna hurt. Right? So if you like to block, and you specifically like to block at range three, Noob Cybot is your fucking huckleberry. Anyways, that's the Noob Cybot guide. We're at 16 minutes. Fucking failure. I got to make another fucking thumbnail. But anyways, thank you for watching the Noob Cybot 16-minute uh, tutorial. Thank you uh, for any subs or follows that you give me. And if you're not subbing and following, you should probably do that. Like, that, that would make you a good person, actually. You'd be a really good person if you did that. As for me, I got to go do other things. So I'm going to go do those. And you guys keep it real, all right?